Hey everyone, welcome to Altekis. I'm Pankaj Rai and in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how you can create story view for your application built with Jetpack Compose. Well, story view is something which you might have seen in Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram or even on WhatsApp where we have an indicator on top which runs from say 0% to 100% and as it ends, another image slides. So if we have to create that kind of view, let's see how can we do it with Jetpack Compose. But before getting started with this, let's see how does it look like. So here it is. We have image, we have the indicator, along with the animation it has started, goes till the end and as it ends another image slides. And the same will continue here too. So let's see how can we create this kind of UI with Jetpack Compose. For that, let's create the indicator first. So let me create a composable called Linear Indicator. And let's take three parameters here. Modifier, Start Progress, which will have the default values false and on animation end as an higher order function. Now we can directly take advantage of the linear progress indicator that we have. Inside this we have to provide the background color in our case, we are using the background color as light gray and the progress color is white in color. So color dot white. Then let's have the modifier two based on whatever we have specified while calling this composable. Apart from that, let's also add padding for the top and bottom. Top 12 dp, bottom 12 dp. And if you have seen, then these indicators have the rounded shape at the start and at the end. So to get this rounded shape, you are going to use clip here. Clip with round corner shape. Let's make this as 12 dp. Now for the progress. So for progress, it's not just we start from one and then go all the way till 100%. Along with the path from zero to 100%, we also need to animate it. So for that, we are going to use progress first by remember mutable state of 0.00f. And we are going to change this progress one by one. So it will start from 0.00, .00 and we'll go all the way till the 100%. Also, because we need animation, so we are going to use well animated progress by animate float as a state. The target will be progress. And the most important part is the animation spec. So for animation specs, we are going to use progress indicator default dot progress animation spec. Finally, we need to change this progress value. So to do that, we are going to have a launched effect inside this block. We are going to run a while loop until progress is less than 1f. So we'll say progress plus equals to 0.01f. Also, let's add a delay of 50 milliseconds. 
the reason why do we have added 50 millisecond is because each indicator is running till 5 seconds which is nothing but equivalent to 5000 milliseconds and this is having value till 100 so 5000 divided by 100 it will be 50 so that's why we have here 50 milliseconds also at the end of this animation we'll pass on this callback to the calling function the calling composable of this linear indicator so that will take appropriate action as the animation end now we can directly set this inside progress that's it with this we have created our linear indicator but this parameter is something which is really important why is that because if we skip this parameter then what's going to happen is that say for example if you have three images then for all those three images this progress indicator will start from zero and will go all the way till 100 percent but our objective is not that our objective is start for the first one and as the first indicator ends then load another image also start the indicator animation for the second one but do not start the animation for all the indicator at once so for that we are going to put this launch effect inside if condition if we start progress then only start this launched effect otherwise do not do anything okay so our linear indicator is ready now it's about image because we want to have image which should slide as the time expires for the indicator that means after every five seconds we need to switch to another image for that we are going to use one library which is this pager library with this we get an advantage of view pager that by default give us the slide animation to us so let's create a composable let me name this as story image now inside the story image we are going to have horizontal pager this needs a pager state so we'll take pager state as an object and we'll pass on here pager state along with this we do not want the user to drag between the images so we'll also disable the drag okay and also about the list of images because we need to swipe through the images based on the expiry of five seconds time limit that we have added so we'll add list of images and here inside this let's have our image composable the painter resource list of image it let's have the content description as null for now and also let's have the content scale as content scale dot crop make this to occupy the entire screen so we'll say modify dot fill max size okay so that's it now we have our linear indicator ready with a rounded corner shape okay now finally let's create our stories composable so composable stories and inside this let's have our pager state remember pager state so page count for that again let's take list of image as a parameter we'll see list of images dot size okay also let's create court and scope which will be remember court and scope the reason why do we need this is because to change page we'll need pager state and this has to be called from suspending function or from another code in builder so we are going to call 
this page has stayed inside launch. Also, we'll need a counter for the current page so that we'll know that what's the current page that is shown. And based on that, we are going to animate our progress indicator. So we'll say current page by remember mutable state of zero. So initially we'll be on the zeroth page, which is nothing but the first page. Finally, now let's create our box. Let this box occupy the entire width and height of the screen. So the reason why do we need box composable is because if you see here, then we have this progress indicator on top of this image. So if you want to place two composable one over the other, then box works really well in those cases. So we have this box and now we'll add our story image. We'll pass on the pager state and also the list of images. So we have added our image that's occupying the entire width and height of the screen. And now let's add our indicators because they are in a row. So we'll need a row composable. And we'll also add the modifier. So let it occupy the max width of the screen and also have a horizontal arrangement as space between. So with the space between what it does is that the first and the last item of this row, that means the UI element of this first and the last of this row will start from the start and the end of the screen, whereas the remaining one will have the equal spacing between them. But we do not want our indicator to start right from the beginning. We need a bit of space between left and right. So we can either add padding here or the other approach is to add spacer. So we'll add a spacer of say 4 dp. And now we can say linear indicator where we can specify our modifier. So the modifier that we are going to specify here is modifier dot weight 1f so that all this composable will occupy the same width. But one thing is that as we have three indicators, so rather than copying and pasting it three times, it's better to have it inside for loop because when we have it inside for loop, then it becomes dynamic. It will depend on the number of images. If the number of images is one, you'll see one indicator. If we have 10, you'll see 10 indicators. So we are going to have it inside for loop. So we'll say index in list of images dot indices. Now, we'll say about the current index 2. So if you have seen this parameter start progress, so until and unless the start progress is true, it's not going to start the animation. So indicator will always remain at 0 until and unless this value is true. So we are going to make this value true only and only when the index matches the current page. By this way, only the page which is shown on UI, for that only, the indicator will start animating from 0 till the 100%. Also, here we are going to get the callback as soon as the animation end. So as the animation for the indicator end, we need to switch to different page. That means we need to show a different image. So for that, as we have created the quote in scope on top, so we'll say quote in scope dot launch, and now the pager state dot animate is scroll to, and this will be the current page. Also, let's update the 
current page value so if current page is less than list of images dot size minus one increase the value for the current page so let's make this var and finally let's add a bit of padding between these indicators so we'll say padding 4 dp that's it now let's call our stories composable for that let's create our list of images which i have it in the drawable so i'll call it r.drawable.zoo1 r.drawable.zoo2 and r.drawable.zoo3 here let's pass on to this story is composable that's it with this we have our stories view ready so here it is we have the image and indicator now as this end the image should change well if it is not changing then we might have missed something here okay so that's because of this now it should work well so as the indicator ends it will also change the image to the next image so let's check this out we have the indicator here on top and this is not that clearly visible so we'll see the background of it and here it is as the indicator ends the image also slides again as it ends here next image comes but because this indicator is not visible as the background is quite matching with the color of indicator so for that let's have a background for this indicator but rather than adding a solid color let's add a gradient so we'll say background brush equals to vertical gradient here we need to provide the list of colors so we'll say color dot black and color dot transparent that's it now let's check it out okay so here it is now this indicator is clearly visible and this image is also occupying the entire width and height at this ends image slides the animation continues and as this ends also we'll see a slide of image and here it is so that's it for this tutorial and if you have liked this tutorial then please do hit the like button and subscribe this channel so as to get the videos on the latest topics of android kotlin and firebase thank you and stay tuned